Coffee Break Swedish, Season 1, Lesson 28. Välkomna till Coffee Break Swedish. Jag heter Hanna. Och jag heter Mark. Hur mår du, Hanna? Jag mår bra, Mark. Hur mår du? Jag mår jättebra. What is on the schedule for today in this lesson of Coffee Break Swedish? Well, today we're going to talk about work and uh, how do we ask somebody what they work with and how do we describe our work? Now, if this is the first lesson you've ever listened to, then uh, make sure you go back all the way to lesson one, where you can start learning Swedish with me. I'm the learner here. Hanna is our Swedish language expert. And uh, you can follow the lessons all the way through to this lesson and beyond. How how does that sound for a job, Hanna? A Swedish language expert. How would you say that in Swedish? I like it. Jag tycker om det. Jag är en, en svenska expert. Um, that sounds lovely. I would more say uh, jag arbetar som lärare. Okay, well, well, we'll come to that as we learn these words and phrases for uh, jobs today. Ska vi börja? Ja, låt oss börja. So we want to find out what somebody is doing for a living. And in Swedish, you have two verbs that means to work, is jobba och arbeta. Do you recognize these two different verbs, Mark? Well, I think you said uh, jag arbetar, and then you said a teacher or something like that before we, we started the lesson. Um, but jobba is, is new to me. Is that like from the English job? Yes, so you have jobba from English and arbeta from German. Ah, right, okay. And it it basically means the same. So we can can use them um, in in the same way. It's just arbeta sounds a bit more formal. So I think we're going to use jobba uh, in this lesson. Okay, so how would I ask someone, you know, what, what's your job? What do you work as or, or something like that? Well, we u- would use the preposition med, so jag jobbar med, and then it's the area of work, like you would say I, I work in. So um, let's say, jag jobbar med ekonomi. So you work in economy or finance or something like that? Yeah, so very broad terms. Or mm-hmm. jag jobbar med IT. IT, or oh, oh, like the IT. Yes, you are good okay. with the Swedish letters, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, they're fresh in my mind, shall we say. So, <laughs> ja jobber med IT. I work in IT. Um, ja. Okay. Um, ja jobber med turism. Are you work in tourism? Ja. So, it means that you work uh, med, with, uh, like, with something, a, a broad subject. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, um, how, how would I ask the question... What do you work with? What's the question that results in these answers? Vad jobbar du med? Vad jobbar du med? So it's that kind of rhythm there. Then the, the du med comes on in the, the, the end. Vad jobbar du med? Ja, bra. So almost um, intonation on the preposition. Like, vad jobbar yeah. du med? Vad jobbar du med? Okay. Um, so you've, you've said that med means with. We've heard med before. Um you can't say, like in English we would say, I work in economy or in finance, in IT. But could you say, ja jobbar i ekonomi? Nej, it's just sounds wrong. You know, I think we talked a bit about prepositions before. And today we're going to probably speak a lot about prepositions. Um, okay. Because in Swedish it just doesn't make sense to say i. So you just have okay. to say med, uh, with. Okay, okay. Right, so that would be I work in an area, but how would we say, for example, I work as a teacher or something like that? Yeah, then we have that um, annoying little word, som. So I would ask, vad jobbar du som? And if I use the som, then I want somebody's profession. Like, I'm interested in what profession they do. Okay, so I think we've said before um, the word lärare. Which is teacher, yeah? Yes. Could I say then, jag jobbar som en lärare? Ja, 
but you wouldn't have to have the the article there in. You could just say jag jobbar som lärare. Oh right, okay. I guess that's easier. So jag jobbar som lärare. What what would be some other jobs that I might do? Well, you can say jag jobbar som frisör. What would a frisör be? A hairdresser. Does it look like the French friseur? Yeah, exactly. Okay. A lot of Swedish words are from French in a in a strange way. Okay, I don't know that I've got the the the, the technical know how to be a hairdresser. I've certainly not got the hair to be a hairdresser. <laughs> um, what else might we 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 hear in terms of of jobs? Um, jag jobbar som um, doktor, or you can use the word läkare. Right, so that's doktor. Presumably means doctor, and läkare is that. The same? Yeah, so it's just another word for doctor, and I think it's useful to know in case you you would need one and uh, that you recognize läkare as well. Läkare. Okay, so not to be confused with lärare. No, I promise I'm really bad at <laughs> diagnosing people. I'm very good at <laughs> Swedish, not diagnosing um, illnesses. Okay, anything else that we might want to know? Obviously, there there are a thousand different words for, for professions. We're just covering a, a, a selection of them uh, at the moment. Yeah, so jag uh, jobbar som jurist. Jurist? Is that something to do with law? Yeah, so juridik is law in Swedish, uh-huh. and jurist is a solicitor or a lawyer. Okay. It sounded like a like the jury or something like that. That's where Peter was coming from there when uh, the jurist. It sounded like I'm I'm on the jury. <laughs> I suppose a, a lawyer wouldn't be on the jury. No. <laughs> what about uh, my brother is an engineer? How would I say engineer in in Swedish? Well, you m- might want your brother to change profession. Um, <laughs> Mark, it's ingenjör. Oh right, okay, in ingenjör. Yeah, the bra. Okay. Could I say then, min bror jobbar som ingenjör? Perfect. And excellent that you choose the min, because uh-huh. um, it's min bror, it's an N-word, it's describing a, a, a person. And uh, just to remind you as well, like all professions are N nouns as well, because it describe people. Good to know. Okay. What about, um, uh, I don't know, uh, a plumber? En rörmockare. Oh, right. En rörmockare. Bra, jättebra. That's a completely new word to me. It doesn't sound like anything I would expect. It. En rörmockare. What, what, does it, what does it mean? Like, is there a, a root there? I'm not sure about mockare. I, it must be a really old word and uh, I need to check that. Okay, no problem. Give us another couple of jobs then, because we can use this ja jobber som um, quite easily with these jobs. Ja, yeah, so we have ja jobber som brevbärare. Brevbärare. Um, brev, ett brev is a letter, I think. Yes, and then we have the verb att bära, means to carry. So a letter carrier. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that must be a, a, a postal worker. Yeah. Exactly. Excellent. I like that. Brave bearer. Um, a letter bearer. Um, something else. Give us one more. Uh, jag jobbar som bussförare. Bussförare. Is that something to do with a bus, a bus driver? Yes. So we have the verb föra means to steer something. To steer. Oh, right. Okay. Bussförare. Right. Let's go through those jobs again. So we had hairdresser. Frisör. Doctor. Doctor. Or the other one? Läkare. A solicitor. Jurist. Engineer. Ingenjör. Then we had a postal worker. Brebärare. And I think our last one was bus driver. Bussförare. Now, as we said, we can't go through every possible job, but what we can do is help you see where you work. So that might allow you to explain where you work, even if you don't know the exact word for the job you do, which, of course, you'd be able to find in a dictionary, no bother. Um, so, uh, Hanna, can you help us with this? Yes. So we, we continue with, uh, first of all, the question is, var jobbar du? So where do you work? Var jobbar du? Mm-hmm. 
var jobbar du? So that's, we've so far had uh, uh, var jobbar du med? Like what's the area of work that you are in? Var jobbar du som? What do you work as? And now var jobbar du? Where do you work? Yes, and you respond to that. Jag jobbar. And now it's a bit annoying with the prepositions because depending on where you work, we can have a different preposition. So we could start with jag jobbar i en affär. Jag jobbar i en affär. I work in a shop. Ja, jag jobbar i en skola. Um, I work in a school. Ja. Um, and for some reason, we have a different preposition when it comes to jag jobbar på ett sjukhus. Um, well, a sjukhus is a hospital, but you say it's på ett sjukhus, so I couldn't say jag jobbar i ett sjukhus. No, and it's... It's more, if we use E there, it sounds more like it's about being in the building, in the hospital building, but it's about your your place of work. So you, you we always use poor. Okay, so what else might we use poor with? Is it only a hospital? No, no, no. You can say, jag jobbar på ett kontor. Um, would that be in, a, in an office? Yes. So in an office is på ett kontor, or... Uh, jag jobbar på en bank. I work in a bank. Ja, and when it comes to i och på uh, prepositions, or you know this because you know so many languages, Mark, that prepositions, sometimes it doesn't make sense. It's just, we just need to, to learn them. So, for example, mm-hmm. uh, we just heard that is i en, sko- i en skola. If I, mm-hmm. if I work at a university, it's all, all, all of a sudden it's på. So it just depends how old the students are. And we say, jag jobbar okay. på ett universitet. Right. Okay. So we, I guess it's just the same way we have to learn the gender of a word, whether it's an N word or an it word. We also should learn whether uh, this expression uses i en affär, i en skola, or på ett fokus, på en bank, and so on. Ja, precis. Okay. What about if our learners, if our listeners are not working at the moment and perhaps they're studying um, how would I ask, uh, you know, what do you study? What are you studying? So we use the verb uh, studerar. And then we have the preposition till. So vad studerar du till? Oh, right. This, so we can't just say vad studerar du? What are you studying? No. Um, well, you can you can ask that if you, um, if you study an ac- academic subject. So jag studerar svenska. Jag studerar engelska. Uh, Jag studerar okay, geografi. Okay. Uh, but if it's to a specific profession, we say that we are study to become a something. I get it. Okay. So, but we don't need a verb in there. You, you don't need to say, Jag studerar till att vara lärare. Nej. Du, Jag studerar till lärare. I am studying to be a teacher. Ja, precis. And you don't... In English, you would say a teacher. We don't. Mm-hmm. We don't have to use um, an article there, so we just say teacher. So I can give you some examples. Jag studerar okay. till sjuksköterska. Oh, it's uh, a while since we've had that word. Um, I'm studying to be a nurse. Have you missed that word? I have. Yeah. <laughs> sjuksköterska. <laughs> um, jag studerar till journalist. Okay. Jag studerar till journalist. I'm studying to be a journalist. Ja. Jag studerar till förskollärare. Oh, that's new to me. So some kind of school teacher. First, first. Oh, is that like a nursery school teacher? Ja, precis. Så för preschool teacher, basically. Mm-hmm. Okay, förskollärare. Right. Okay, so we've learned about working in an area. We learned about working in a in a building or at a building with E and Paw. And we've also learned to say what you work as. Jag jobbar som. And now we've learned about studying. Yes. Um, and maybe something important to remember with studera is that we can also, you will probably hear the word plugger, which is just a colloquial verb that we use sometimes. Plugger. Plugger. I don't know where it comes from, but a lot of uh, you would use it if you if you speak among friends. It's very informal. Um, uh-huh. So would you still say till there? So ja plugger till 
Kukutushka. Yes, you sound very casual that you are yeah. <laughs> with your yeah, studies. You know, <laughs> you know I'm, I'm studying to be a nurse. Yeah. You know. uh, <laughs> okay, um, to me it sounds like you're plugging away at something, you're working hard mm-hmm. on something to learn it and you're getting there. Huh? That's, that's the way I'll try to remember it anyway. Okay, let's take a quick break. All the Coffee Break Swedish podcast episodes are free, but did you know there's a full online course available? We offer video versions of the lessons where you see the words and phrases on the screen of your device. There are lesson notes providing further information and additional vocabulary and a bonus audio episode for every lesson. To find out more about our online course, go to coffeebreakswedish.com. Okay, today we are talking about where we work, what we work in, what we work as. Uh, I think it's time to do just some practice of this, Hanna. Can you tell us a little bit about your work? Yes, yeah, so um, jag jobbar med språkundervisning. Okay, språk are, are languages. Mm-hmm. And undervisning. Yeah, so it's one of those like very long Swedish words that we just chop up. So språk undervisning. So undervisning is just teaching. So language te- teaching. Okay, language teaching. So jag jobbar med språk undervisning. Jag jobbar som lärare. You work as a teacher? Jag jobbar på ett universitet. And you work at a university? Ja, precis. Should we um, try and do the same for you, Mark? Så vad jobbar du med? Uh, I think I'll say, uh, jag jobbar också med språkundervisning. <laughs> you, you put the också perfect where it should be and uh, good for you. So that you, you just have to say this very long word again. <laughs> um, vad jobbar du som? Mm. Uh. I guess I could see. I, yeah, you're some ladder. Bra. You just copy me here. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about um, I work as? Well, I, I guess I own the company. How, how do you say I have my own company? Jag har ett företag. Jag har ett företag. So, ett företag is the word for a company. Ja, precis. So I have a, a company. You could say that you. You you are a företagare. Företagare. So what would that be? Um, that you're a person owning a company, I guess. All oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Företagare. Right. Jag är uh, företagare. Ja. Och uh, var jobbar du? Um, <laughs> just nu <laughs> jobbar jag uh, hem. Så. So. Uh, We could, um, do you remember, I think we talked about this, that we have when something is static and when something is moving. So if I'm saying Uh that I'm I'm going home, then I say jag går hem. If I Uh am at home, it's hemma. Ah, right, okay. But I should know that as a... (laughs) A famous song from Christina from Duve Mola called Hemma. Yes. Uh, It's a lovely song. But when we talk about work as well, that we working from home, we can say jag jobbar hemifrån. Hemifrån. Okay, I've heard that. Jag jobbar hemifrån. Ja, perfekt. Jag jobbar också so, hemifrån. <laughs> um, uh, allihopa <laughs> jobbar hemifrån. <laughs> Precis. <laughs> At the moment, anyway. So can I, can I go through this again? So I could say um, jag jobbar med språkundervisning. Uh, jag jobbar som uh, lärare och uh, företagare. Perfekt. Och jag jobbar hemifrån. Ja, jättebra. So what we're going to do now is put all of this into practice with a conversation. And for that we, we need to some help. Okay, welcome back Lovisa. We are delighted you're able to join us again for this episode. How are you today? Hur mår du? Jag mår jättebra. Hur mår ni? Uh, ja, mår jättebra. Och Hanna, hur mår du? Bra, tack. <laughs> I think we've established that already. Good stuff. Okay, let's then get on with our conversation. Ska vi börja? Låt oss börja. 
Okay, let's have a listen to the conversation um, and uh, see how much we understand. There's some new vocabulary in here too, but let's have a listen. Vad jobbar du med? Jag jobbar med barn. Jag jobbar som förskollärare. Jaha. Var jobbar du? Jag jobbar på en förskola in i stan. Jaha. Trivs du? Ja, jag trivs jättebra. Jag älskar barn. Vad kul. Var jobbar du? På en hårsalong. Jag jobbar som frisör. Det är kul. Jag tycker om att träffa människor, men jag får ont i ryggen. Vad synd. Okay, that was quite quick. Let's have a listen again if you both don't mind doing this one more time. Can we take it again from the top? Vad jobbar du med? Jag jobbar med barn. Jag jobbar som förskollärare. Jaha. Var jobbar du? Jag jobbar på en förskola in i stan. Jaha. Trivs du? Ja, jag trivs jättebra. Jag älskar barn. Vad kul. Var jobbar du? På en hårsalong. Jag jobbar som frisör. Det är kul. Jag tycker om att träffa människor, men jag får ont i ryggen. Vad synd. Okay, we're going to go through this now, talk about the language, talk about some interesting words in there. I certainly recognised quite a few words that we've covered already, but definitely some new things. Okay, tack så mycket igen, Lovisa. Tack så mycket. Oh, hej då. Hej då. Hej då. Okay, Hanna, can we go through this line by line, please? Yes, and like you said, it's, it's uh, quite familiar things, but some new ones. So uh, we started with, vad jobbar du med? So what do you work in? Yes, and I, I replied, jag jobbar med barn, jag jobbar som förskollärare. So this is a new word that you, you taught us in, in this lesson, first school um, a, a nursery teacher. So I work with children, yeah, you're Birmingham barn. I work as a nursery teacher. Yeah, precis. So the next word that Luisa says, I've come across this quite a bit when I've been watching Swedish TV series and, and films. What is it? Jaha. And it can mean lots of different things, can't it? Yes, it's a really important word in Swedish, but uh, at the same time, it's really t- difficult to describe when we use it and why we use it. Um, but if you go to Sweden, you're going to hear it all the time. It's one of the most important things to to get from Swedish language. Would here would it work as kind of okay? Yes, exactly. She says, "Jaha, vad jobbar du?" Okay, so where do you work? And I respond, jag jobbar på en förskola inne i stan. Right, so I work in a nursery, but this last part, inne i stan, can you help us with that? Yeah, so it's an expression to just means, uh, that just means in town. Okay, and stan, is that linked to stad? Yes, um, and it just means like city center so if i we would meet up mark i would say ska vi träffas inne i stan inne i stan okay so just in town uh, yeah. in, in general okay now, now lovisa's next question is was completely new to me so can you can you give us this jaha trivs du so another jaha um okay and then trivs du what does that mean i think it's a really good expression to know because um, Swedish people use it a lot. Trivs just means literally to thrive. And it is something that we ask people if they enjoy their work. Or we, you can say if somebody had moved house, for example, uh, we can say, oh, trivs du? Or somebody can say, like, I moved to Sweden and uh, jag trivs jättebra där. I, I really enjoy it there. So trivs is a, is a good word to know. So just to, like, do you enjoy it? Do you, do you have a good time? That kind of thing. Yeah. Do you feel comfortable, kind of, in the place? Good, yeah. Right. Okay. I see. I see. So your your response to that was. Ja, jag trivs jättebra. So yeah, I really enjoy it. Jag älskar barn. I love children. And uh, Louisa replies, "Vad kul." I guess literally, how cool her or something like that. that that's that's great. <laughs> Yeah, so cool often is just fun. Uh-huh. And uh, then I ask Luisa, vad jobbar du? So where do you work? 
And she says, på en hård salong. And we might not know that word, but the next one we have learned. So jag jobbar som frisör. So we know that she works as a hairdresser. Therefore, I'm guessing hår salon would be a hair salon. Yes, exactly. You, you, okay. You're such a detective. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then she goes on to give some more information about it. Yeah, so det är kul. Jag tycker om att träffa människor, men jag får ont i ryggen. Right, so they're cool, it's fun. But jag tycker om att träffa människor, so I like to meet people. Yeah, so it's, it's that expression of I like to work with people. Like. Yeah, okay. Men jag får ont i ryggen, so this rings a bell here. It's ont, is is pain, I get a pain somewhere. Mm-hmm. And ryggen, I think we did, is that the back? Yes, well done. Well remembered. So I'm kind of putting two together, um, two, two and two together to imagine that a hairdresser may get a sore back when he or she is, is leaning over people to cut their hair. Yeah, and so my response to that is, vad synd. Vad synd. So what would that mean? Um, what a pity. And synd means literally a, a sin, but it's oh, okay. an expression of just saying that a pity. A pity. Okay. Well, that's where we're going to leave this episode. We've talked lots about different types of job. Of course, again, if you are wondering how you would describe your job, the great thing is that when you look that up in a dictionary or translator or online or whatever, then you don't really have to change anything about it. You don't need to, first of all, include your, your indefinite article. You don't need to know what kind of gender it is or anything like that, because the fact is the word will probably work straight out the box. Yes, that's Swedish for you. It's easy. Of course, if you'd like to get more out of this lesson and access our video versions, our uh, bonus audio materials that we're just about to record, and the lesson notes, then you can use the premium version of Coffee Break Swedish. You can find that at coffeebreakacademy.com. And you can find us on Facebook. Just search for Coffee Break Swedish. And we post regular content to help you build your cultural knowledge of all things Swedish. That's it for this episode. We'll be back very soon with the next one. But for now, tack så mycket, Hanna. Varsågod och hej då. And thank you to all our listeners. And we'll be back soon with the next episode. For now, hej då. Hej då. You have been listening to a Coffee Break Languages production for the Radiolingua Network. Copyright 2021 Radiolingua Limited. Recording copyright 2021 Radiolingua Limited. All rights reserved. <laughs>